West Michigan community is losing its last bank. We just told you last night here on the 7, more than 4,000 bank branches have closed since 2016. Well, now we're seeing firsthand what that does to a community. People in Fenville will be losing their town's last bank in December. New tonight, 24 Hour News 8's Brady Gillum shows us what they're doing to try to keep the bank open. Here in Fenville, there's something nobody's taking for granted anymore, a bank. Welcome to Fenville, Michigan. Population 1500, give or take a few. Grinders, salads, pasta. Linda Barnes was born and raised here. She now owns a restaurant inside what used to be a bank. Yeah, as a child, we would come in here and my walk-in would be the vault where all the money would be kept and stuff. The town used to have two banks. One closed a few years ago, leaving this one, Chemical Bank. But Chemical Bank announced last month that it's closing its Fenville branch. Fenville's always had a bank, so it's really hard to see us not having a bank. It came as a shock to uh, all of us. Fenville's Bayer met with Chemical Bank representatives with no success, so he filed a complaint with the Federal Reserve Board, claiming the bank violated an act that encourages banks to invest in poor and moderate income communities. With a lot of branches now moving out, I kind of thought that it took that as a as a discriminatory practice. Chemical Bank Chief Financial Officer Dennis Claser said on a phone call today, the company's decision to close Fenville's branch is not a reflection that Chemical Bank is in financial trouble. Rather, it means more people are moving to online banking. Just like retailers are losing shoppers to online sellers, he says banks are losing foot traffic to online banking. Do you think it's a sign of the times regarding the banking industry or Venmo? No, it's a sign of the times for the banking industry. In fact, uh, in fact, all mayors and civic leaders of small towns, if you have a bank in your community, uh, take a good look because you're next. They'll be leaving you too. Pantelaria says the bank will put a restriction on the deed when it sells the bank branch, prohibiting the buyer from opening a bank or credit union. But we have everything that a city has, police, fire, uh, ambulance, and so forth, but, but unfortunately it'd be no bank. The town should hear about its complaint within the next couple of months. In Fenville, Brady Gillum, 24-Hour News 8.